Okay, hello, and uh, what we want to do here is multiply these two uh, binomials using the FOIL technique. Okay, so if you're you know, most likely in a um, pre-algebra, Algebra 1 class, maybe even another course where you're just reviewing some basic polynomial multiplication, you should be familiar with FOIL. Okay, and that's just an acronym. It stands for first, outer, inner, last. And um, it's actually a very good way to multiply to um, uh, the, these both here are polynomials, but we, we're going to refer to them as binomials. They're simply polynomials with two terms. Okay, so first, first this uh, first one here has x plus 2. All right, it has two terms, therefore it's a binomial. Second one has 3x plus 5, that's a binomial. Now, one thing to stress is that this FOIL technique only works when you're multiplying uh, two binomials. So if I had something like x plus 2, now I wanted to multiply it by 3x squared plus 5x minus 1, we could not use the FOIL, FOIL technique here because this is not a binomial, it's actually a trinomial. Okay? Alright, so hopefully you already knew that and that sets the stage for actually getting into this problem. Okay, so FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. So the first is referring to the first terms of each binomial. So we're going to multiply x times 3x. Okay, so these are the first terms of those binomials. And when we do that, we get x times 3x. That is 3 x squared. Okay, 3x squared. In fact, let me write this slower. 3x squared. Okay, so that's our f. Now, o is outer. Okay, hopefully I won't run out of colors here. So, the outer is this x and that 5. Right? So you draw a little line this way. You don't have to draw the lines. Matter of fact, I suggest that you don't. I'm simply drawing the lines here just to you know teach you this here. So we have x times 5, and of course is going to be 5x. All right. Now let me remove this stuff. We're going to do the i now, and that refers to the inner. Okay. So if you already kind of guessed what the inners are, it's the 2 and the 3x. So this is the inners, and that will be 2 times 3x, that is 6x. All right, and now that leaves us with the last. And let me get rid of this here. And the last is the last of each uh, term of these binomials. So that's going to be 2 and 5, and you have that, okay, which is 2 times 5, or 10. Okay, so once you've done this, all these problems are going to pretty much work out They're very similar. Um, you're going to get an x squared term. You're going to get two x terms, um, and then you'll get some sort of constant. Yeah, I'm trying to think of an exception off the top of my head where you know you wouldn't have something, you know, have it turn out this way. So, um, I can't. So I'm almost almost positive that it's always going to be like this. So when you have when you have these, now what you have to do when you have each uh, of these terms, what you have to do is simply combine like terms where well, you find them, and we have two right here, so we're going to get 3x squared plus 11x plus 10. Okay, so this is the product, this trinomial is the product of these two binomials. All right, so we have two binomials, we use the FOIL technique, and when we did that, we got our solution, our answer, which is the product, which is 3x squared plus 11x plus 10. All right, let's try another one real quick, and then we'll end this video. All right, so I'm just going to make something up here. Let's say we had 2x minus 7 times 3x plus, oh, I don't know, let's say 1. So you might want to try it yourself. Okay, so FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. Okay, so the first is going to be 2x 
times 3x. So that would be 6x squared. So that's my first. All right. Now I'll do my outers. That's going to be 2x times 1. And that would be plus 2x. All right. Now I'm moving on to my inners. And that's going to be these two terms. Okay, and don't forget that is a negative seven. Don't 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 use seven. That's negative seven. All right, so negative seven times three x is going to be negative twenty one x. All right, and that leaves us with our last uh, thing to do. That's the last. Multiply the last. So it's negative seven times one, or negative seven. And now all we have to do is combine like terms and finish this up and we get 6x squared uh, let's see here 2x plus a negative 21x will give us negative 19x minus 7 okay so this is the product of these two binomials and we used the FOIL method okay so remember FOIL only works with two binomials and a pretty straightforward process okay Hope this video helps you out. Good luck.